Hello everyone and welcome back to another Plaza Entry Update video. It's been a great start to the new year here on site, so without further ado, let's get right into this week's video. Alright, so as always, we're going to start off this week outside the West Canopy. Uh, much like last week and the week before, our main activity here is just going to be structural steel until we get the steel completely stood up, uh, and then we'll move on to decking that out as well as some uh, concrete work below that steel. Alright, so in this photo you'll see the progress we've made over at West Pavilion on the structural steel. So as you can see, made some great progress. The uh, short weeks here aren't slowing us down. Uh, and then we did get a big steel delivery in this morning. That'll be the rest of the pieces we need to connect the bridge to the face of West Pavilion here. Uh, and one thing to note, this will be built in place rather than be pre-assembled like the rest of the bridge was. So a little bit different, a little bit more challenging, but we're up for the challenge nonetheless. All right, so moving over to the Plaza Garage and the bridge, MEP Ruffin is ongoing. Our trade partner, CNR Mechanical, just had a large ductwork delivery this morning that was hoisted up on top of the bridge. Uh, shaft walls inside the garage are ongoing, made some great progress there. I've got a photo of that coming up here in a minute. Uh, and then elevator drilling is still going on for the hydraulic elevators inside the Plaza Garage. All right, so this photo here just shows those shaft walls going in in the garage. So as you can see, we're pretty much wrapped up on G1, 2, and 3, uh, working on G0 now. Uh, we're making a big push to get out of the way for the elevator guys coming in in the next couple of weeks once we wrap up drilling. All right, so moving inside the hospital and more specifically the gift shop and northern corridor uh, to that gift shop above ceiling and in wall device out has finished up this last week. We are pretty much completely done here. Uh, final paint is also wrapped up. Gift shop storefront is ongoing. Uh, we've got the storefront in now. Slider doors are also installed, waiting on some track pieces as well as the hardware for this. And then we'll be done with that. Uh, and then for the most part, really, it's just final clean and punch list in these two areas. All right, so with the last video update being mostly centered around the gift shop inside the hospital, I wanted to highlight the northern corridor here in this week's video. So I do have a few pictures showing the progress we've made here as well as a video, so stay tuned. All right, so over at Hudland Park and East Pavilion, we do have some awesome updates for you this week. So uh, Baxter has been installing trees in that northeast corner of Hudland Park. And then they have also been underneath the canopy in the planters at the East Pavilion, as well as the site wall across the street from the East Pavilion. So that's super exciting. We've been waiting on that for a little bit now, and it's great to see that going in. Uh, the tennis courts, we also have a good update here. So VJ was out this week and we're able to finish up those pole bases for the tennis court fence. So now we are ready to put up the permanent fencing and then take down the temporary fencing. One thing to note about the tennis court is that we will not be able to put the top coats on until we get four or five days of warmer weather uh, so that they can cure properly. All right, so I just wanted to show these couple of photos to highlight the progress we've made over at East Pavilion in the last week or two. So as you can see, we've got all kinds of plants going in on that site wall and around it. Uh, and then underneath the canopy, we were able to finally land on a solid uh, mulch substitution. So we went with the uh, river rock in those planter bases, and I think it does look fantastic and will hold up a whole lot better than the mulch would have. All right, that's all I've got for you this week. As always, I want to thank you for tuning in and thank you for your patience and cooperation as we go through this process together. And make sure you're staying tuned to these videos for all these awesome updates that we've got coming up here in the near future. And I'll see you in the next one.